Can it be? Do you really truly mean? I've been quite clear. Please do not make me spell it out. I, uh, I... Come on, Kublé. Don't be so slow. Now you want him to be blunt? Now you want him to be blunt. I understand. Fucking hell, man. Put us out for our misery. Put us out of our misery, won't you? How many times are you going to make a poor woman say it? Still your chattering tongues. Or or, yeah, still your chattering tongues or I'll cut them off. You, you stand before the king of the sky pirates. All right. All right. Are they, are they, like, getting married and shit now? Kind of confused. You obtained a new tale of wonder. More pages for our book of nothing. The hearts of the people in Perdini, Perdi, Perdida. There we go. The, the, the hearts of the people in Perdida have been restored. Young Nina, you must have been terribly, uh, you must have been terribly afraid. I apologize, most humbly, for my actions. Do not worry, King Cahulin. Queen Cahulin. It's not a dude. I am happy that you have become a king, or, er, wow, become so kind and gentle. Everything in Perdidia, per, Perdidia! <laughs> everything in Perdid, Perdida. Everything in Perdida. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say. It is so bright and happy now. We will never give in to Shadar. Your words are music to my ears, truly, children. Like you are the bearers of hope. The hope for a brighter future. We who are old enough to know better choose the path of a, of cowardice. Cowardice? Sure. All we wanted was to be free of fear. Be free or to be protected by the truth. Okay. Or from the truth. Well that's done. Or what's done is done. And all that. I just hope that uh, Rodder Shadar not still hanging her about. Uh, waiting to pounce like. Sure. I know what I must do. My duty is to protect the people of Perdida. Per Perdida. There we go. From Shadar. I vow never to let his dark despair engulf this town again. I will make shit. I will make amends for all... All I have done. Okay. Gracias, your highness. I guess she is partially Spanish. Oft. Then it seems I have no choice. I'll throw my loot in with you. Your highness. Or my lot in with you, your highness. We'll protect the Punny village together. No, Kublai. There are other duties in which you must intend attend. It is not only this town that must be protected from the dark pall of Shadar's despair. With your airship, you must travel freely around the world. Do you understand? What is it that I ask of you? I do. And that only too well. No, but you... What? No, but you only just got together. Awesome. Kublai. Though we may be apart... We will always be together as long as we share the same goal. Gahahaha! <laughs> You're not wrong, Your Highness. You always did have a way with words. Why does this fucking dialogue drag on so much? Looks like everything's worked out. Then. Oh, but before I forget, there was a reason we came here. No shit. Uh, to the middle of nowhere. I'm aware of this. It concerns me, or it concerns Moon's Mornstar, does it not? Yes, we're trying to restore its power. We did not, or we did manage to find the three magical stones, but the but even Mark Markinson couldn't reunite them with the wand. It is beyond Markinson's power, you say? How could that be? Tell me more. Did they really have to pan the camera angle? That's all they did. <laughs> Well, he speculated that it might be because we brought Mornstar here from the past. I'm a masked wizard who can manipulate time itself. I am most curious as to what his intentions could be. But I shall ponder that in my... I shall ponder that in my leisure. Our priority is to put a stop to Shadar's plans. I will perform a 
uh, I will perform the required ritual without delay. Awesome. Tidy, sounds like old Kahulin knows what he's doing. Get Mornstar back in one piece. Eh? That's handy. Now, young Oliver, I shall require assistance in the undertaking. Are you willing to help? Sure, Queen Kahulin. Just tell me what I have to do. A fine response. A ritual must be performed outside when you are ready. Come and see me. I shall be waiting. Well, I'm fucking ready now. Let's do this shit. I'm outside. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I don't have enough MP. Well, fuck it. We don't need that. We don't need to heal right now. We can wait. Well, I should have just followed the star, I guess. <laughs> that would have been a good start. And now there's people with missions and stuff, because we saved the town. Oh, wow. Founder! <laughs> May we begin the ceremony, Oliver? Yes, we shall. Oh, sure. Ready when you are, your highness. Oliver, do you know the spell named Rejuvenate? Sure I do. It turns back uh, the clock of an ob four objects to before they were old or broken. What well, is the memory retained within an object that is being revived? Only a spell breach time allows itself to be manipulated. Now I believe that Rejuvenate should be able to restore the magic stones to the state they were 15 years ago. Oh, I get it. That way they'll make, or they'll be the same as Mornstar from 15 years ago. Huh? Indeed. I will need to combine the spell Rejuvenate with the ritual required to reunite the stones... With Mornstar. Fucking hell. Wouldn't that be a bit of... A bit of a stretch, even for your... Your heavenliness? It will not be easy, I understand. Why Markinson... Uh... Balked? At the challenged? Balked? Balked at the challenged, sure. But I believe that I can do this for you. Thank you, your highness. Now, without further ado, let me let the ritual commence. Ritual commence. You obtained Mornstar. Huzzah! The ritual is complete. What you now hold is, in, is Mornstar in its true form. Please consult your wizard companion, the one power has restored new pages and fucking new spells for you to use. Awesome. I received a healing hand. And a four with a tent underneath it. Fortune's Fool. Oh, we got a cauldron with uh I don't know what that is. We got a cauldron that also tells time. There you go. Jeepers, these spells look so neat. The spell known as Unleash will prove very useful to you, I am certain. Doubtless you have done battle with those creatures known as guardians. Uh who Whose poor hearts have been or had been broken by Shadar. There we go. When you defeat them, uh, you received certain gemstones, did you not? That's right. They dropped them big jewels in it, holy boy. These gems are symbols of the guardians' uh, gratitude and contain the part of their spirit 
and life force. Jeepers. By using Unleash, you can channel the energies which reside within the gem and call upon the Guardian strength in battle. Okay. With their power at your command, you'll be able to hold your own even against Jadar. Thank you, Your Highness. That sounds like it. Uh, that sounds like it'll come in real handy. <laughs> that doesn't sound too shabby, does it, Oliver? Shadar is be. Shadar will be quaking in his boots. You are now better equipped to face Shadar in battle, but the series, the serious obstacle stands between you and any encounter. Oh, here we go again. I don't know why Drippy always says, here we flipping go, or stuff of that nature, because who the fuck says, oh my, okay, that, that was a really bad example, oh my fucking god does exist, but here we fucking go again? No, you, you would just say, here we go, son of a bitch, or stuff like that, like, I, I don't understand. I don't understand Mr. Drippy's way of talking. Pisses me off. <laughs> Shadar dwells within the castle of Nevermore. It lies to the north of here. Beyond the Mizma mar marshes? Sure. Should a careless traveler be engulfed in by the dark Mizma, uh, for which the marshes are known, they will be lost forever. Wait a second. The Mizma marshes? I I. What is it, Ether? Esther, have you heard of them? It's nothing. My father once spoke of them. He told me a mist that is that was so dark that no light could uh, penetrate it. The Mizma. He said that only he said that the only way to clear it was was with the call of Clarion. Sure. But Clarion, I remember you saying that we'd be. One, we'd be the ones to play it again, Esther. Yes, the clarion is the symbol of peace that the, was created by the three kings of this world. Now, what was the rhyme? In Ding Dong Dell, the cave full well. Oh, in Ding Dong Well, well, in in Ding Dong Dell, they carve full well that old Mamuni wood. Awesome. And bear it then to Hamlin to make it sound so good. I'm impressed by your knowledge, Esther. But then, you're the daughter of the Great Sage. Oh, it's just a rhyme. I learned it when I was little. So if we give this clarion a good, a good honk, it'll clear the path across the Mizma Marshes, will it? That is correct. And the first thing you require to make the clarion is the holy wood. That old mamoni, that old mamoni wood. I think it's time we paid the caliphah a visit. Okay. Well, you know, I feel pretty good about what we have accomplished today. Hell yeah! I feel good about what we have accomplished today. That made me feel a little bit better, actually. But, sadly, I don't have enough time to actually do another thing. Like I, I would like to. So, we're done for today. That's all we're going to record. Probably until next week sometime, because I have to render out a lot of stuff. Like, I haven't even started rendering out the last session I did, or the session before that. So, thank you guys for watching. And uh, when we come back, we will go to Caulifa, or Calphelia, or whatever the fuck her name is. And we will talk to her and get our sacred holy wood or something like that. I, I already forgot what it was. But as always, thank you guys for watching and have a fantastic day.